Hi guys, Ape here of the Pocketbot Collective. And today we're gonna have a look at Core Class Grimlock from the Legacy Evolution line. Now, let's have a look at the package. Instructions are in there. Doesn't come with much else. Some artwork on the sides. Modes on the back. Number three of six of Volcanicus. And he's got some nice artwork there. Although it shows a knee bend, which the figure does not have. But yeah, there you go. That's for the packaging. Now, as for Tiny Grimlock himself, he uh, has a lot of... Uh, <laughs> And a whole slab of something on his back. This is far from the best Grimlock figure out there, of course. Especially if you're looking for Legend Class Grimlocks. Um, there's a lot of options out there already. Um, think of uh, Mechanic Studios. Uh, think of New Age. Um, but where for a New Age version you're paying about 100 euros. This one is only 15 euros, so I get it. This one is made to play. And he's fine for that. I love him. He's a nice little pocket Grimlock to carry around wherever you go. Has nice paint apps. The head has some articulation. So, yeah, you can sort of get him to run. But there is no knee bend. There's a swivel in the feet, but that's more for transformation. But it's nice, it helps out in robot mode as well. The arms don't do anything. It is what it is. So if we bring in the other two that are out right now, we have the sludge, of course, and we have slug. And it's a nice cohesive color scheme like we're used to with the Dinobots. You can also compare them to a vehicle. Here is Iron Factory's Runamuck. And I guess then we'll get them transformed. <clears throat> so we can see the robot mode. It's all real easy. Um, the only accessory he comes with is this little tailpiece, which doubles up as a dual blaster. Not the greatest, to be honest, but I get that it's in there. Transformation, real easy. You just unfold the legs from his back and slide them out. The hands are pretty much in place already. All you have to do is swivel the wrists. And then we open up this top section. Fold it down. Um, this is the combiner peg. I tend to fold that down as well. The wings are on ball joints, so you can rotate them down or up, whichever way you like. I like them like this, so you can see the little T-Rex arm still. And there we go, ball joint there, swivel at the wrist, ball joint hips, ball joint knees. And just a little swivel at the head. Come on, focus. There we go, nicely painted, blue visor. Bit of sculpting in there. Pretty cool. Can hold the weapon, but I don't tend to give it to him because I don't think it's a very good looking weapon. But there we go. That is Core Grim. Let's bring in the other two. And there is Sludge. And there is Slug. Like I've said in my uh, slug review, I've given these uh, these little guys some individual weapons. It's a uh, it's a little blaster from Core Class Ratchet, and Sludge is wielding a little um, sword from DX9 Swoop. 
Uh, just to give the team some more uh, character, I guess. I haven't really got a blaster for Grimlock. Don't think he needs it. I think of the three, as a robot, Grimlock looks the best. But yeah, there you go. Um, he can, of course, raise his little hand there. To shout, tiny swords attack! <laughs> or something like that. There you go. Let's get these two out of the way. Here he is with Core Prime. And with our boy, Iron Factory's runabout. And yeah, these guys are tiny. Um, they don't really scale with these guys because I'm used to Grimlock being bigger. Um, but on their own, they're a fun little set. And of course, we have that hope, promise maybe even, I don't know. That he will, that, that, that the team will be turned into um, the Dino Force. Because that would be cool. I can totally see this little guy crawl into his Dino Force shell. How about you? But yeah, that is the little guy. Um, we still have to go to combined mode. Um, we'll need his weapon for that as well. What you do for combined mode is... We'll flip this up. And we need to get this peg up as well. Um, leave it there for a minute. We'll pull the arms forward and then you can see slots and tabs. Sorry. Slots and tabs there. So you have to do it like this. And that's where the swivel comes in. The toes need to point forward. This one we will slot together again and hinge back up into dino mode. There's a little gap there which this slots into there we go and then you just put this piece on the back I guess for stability all right this one also still needs to peg into that little slot in between there there we go see now this we fold over this one just goes and lays flat there. Don't think it tabs into anything. No. You can see a little groove there. And a little tab there. This will tab in there. And sit there. Because he's going to be the left leg. And you need a bit of clearance with this arm. If that would be in the middle, then it would rub against the other leg. So, quite clever. And then you just move this peg up. And that is him in his limb mode. But we'll bring in all of them to have a look at the combiner so far. We just get the three components so far we've got sludge we've got slug or slag and we've got grimlock that's all the ones that are out right now of course we still have swoop and scar to come and snarl still needs to be revealed as of the recording of this video but to combine them we'll start with these two um, you can see that there's three 
five millimeter pegs here and also note the five millimeter pegs on the sides they're going to combine or attach to sludge which means there's five solid points that the torso is connected to each other which is great for stability um, we'll also need this little part not the combiner head yet but this little part has a hole at the top and that's what one of slugs pegs will peg into because this goes on the chest of sludge forming the one two three four five yeah so all you need to do is line them up and peg them in there we go nice and easy then we'll slot the arms in there we go and then you can just move these legs a little bit forward to get them out of the way and that's the torso combined it's very secure it doesn't go anywhere still has the waist swivel and of course this little hole at the top will then hold Volcanicus's head that is that now the five mil millimeter holes on sludge's thighs will connect to the peg on grimlock there's a hinge there and of course because it's just a a, a round connection it also has a swivel so we'll just peg that in and now he's becoming too big for this video <laughs> But actually, this is a very small combiner. Um, what I'll do, I'll... I mean, he can stand, he can balance <laughs> on one foot. But what we'll do, we'll bring in some fossilizer parts. And we'll give him a bit of a gestalt mode right now. And there we go there is our mini combiner and he is mini he reminds me of the G1 uh, mini combiners like Dino King which I'm hoping he'll be recolored into and uh, of course the recolor of that monstructor who knows whether we'll see that in this line it would be awesome to have these mini combiners uh, comparison wise here he is with core class prime once again and with our boy runabout from iron factory so you can see it is a small boy but he's tons of fun and again this might not be for everybody um, there's a lot of compromises being made um, in the engineering uh, some weird engineering choices but I would say stop being spoiled enjoy what is out there I for one love the playability on this guy you can get him uh, from uh, having the team run around in either uh, dino or um, robot mode into the combiner um, in a couple of minutes and that's a huge added value to me. You can just play around with these guys and that's what they are intended for. So, I'm happy. I'm happy with the uh, possibility of uh, a Dino King coming. Extremely happy actually. Um, and even a Monstructor. I'm here for it. Hasbro do is doing a good job on these guys. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Ape out.